my YouTube channel. So around a year ago, I saw some posts on the Instagram and that was a sketch done in a colorful outline. This intrigued me very much because I haven't seen anything like that before and that's why I started to dig on the internet and just look for the answer what kind of pencils these are. And little did I know that these pencils are gonna become my all-time favorite sketching supply. And I'm talking about these pencils right here, the Prismacolor Call Erase Erasable Pencils. And to be fair with you, they are my go-to sketching pencils and I totally can't imagine doing sketches with anything else but this. So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you five reasons why I think these pencils are so great and also along with some tips and tricks, I'm gonna also tell you why I think that with help of these pencils, you are able to improve your sketches. And also guys, one more thing before we jump into today's video, I need to ask you for some help and advice. I'm gonna be doing a Draw This Again challenge part two and this time I want you to choose the drawing that I'm gonna be recreating. So I picked some of the drawings that you were able to see on my sketchbook tour when I was flipping through my old sketchbooks and these are the three options that I chose. And please let me know in the comments which number, which drawing you want me to recreate. And I'll be choosing this one that will score the most numbers of votes. So make sure you submit your vote, let's say. And I'm really excited to see which drawing is gonna win and which drawing I will be recreating. So yeah, that's all for the talking part right now. And now we can finally jump into today's video. Okay, so I'd like to start off with saying that this video is not sponsored in any way, but well, I wish it was, so Prismacolor, what's good? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Alright, so here are all the colors of these pencils that I own, but Prismacolor has a total of, I think, 24 colors. And uh, the colors that I use the most are definitely pinks and purples, but that's just a personal preference. Basically, there's no difference in between shades, every shade works as good. And today I'm gonna be doing my sketches in the Moleskine sketchbook. So the first and the most important advantage of Prismacolors is that as opposed to graphite pencils, coal erase ones are totally smudge proof. I tend to rub my hand on the paper a lot when I do some quick sketches and when I was using graphite pencils I always struggled with the graphite leftovers being smeared around and ruining all my sketches. And as you can see, coal erase don't do that at all. When you rub on them, they just lose a little bit of pigment, fade a little bit, but they certainly don't smear around. The second huge plus of these pencils is that you can use a couple of colors to differentiate between each step of your sketch. For example, I like to use something really light, in this case yellow, for some very first base lines. Then I'm just going over with slightly deeper tone, here it is orange, to make the guidelines a little bit more defined. Then comes the little bit darker shade, in this case burgundy, to refine the sketch one more time and go over the most crucial lines. And then once I'm happy with how everything is looking, I'll just go over everything with my normal graphite pencil. And in this manner I could easily determine between each step of my sketch, and at the end I will still have the sketch without looking too messy. The third advantage of these pencils is the fact that they glide on the paper like a dream. They're just so soft that once you try them out it will be hard for you to come back to normal graphite pencils. They will help you to make your lines more smooth without putting too much pressure. And also sometimes when you're using graphite pencils you can experience that the lead is being quite scratchy and it skips a lot when you try to draw and it just leaves those horrible scratches in the paper. And well, that doesn't happen with coal erase. They're just super smooth and they don't mess up the structure of your paper even when you press quite hard. The fourth big plus of these pencils is shown while coloring. Here I made the example quite exaggerated, but this is in order to show you the case more clearly and more visible. So imagine you're having the pencil sketch that you want to color. You didn't outline it with the fine liner beforehand, so that's why you kept the pencil lines, obviously. And then you go with a very light color of the marker, and well, what do you see? Just marker smearing around all the pencil lines and totally ruining your drawing. As opposed to this situation, first you can go lightly with the coal erase pencil for the sketch and you can choose something that is close to the skin tone color that you want to choose for your drawing. So here I went for something pink. 
And then when you're gonna apply your marker color, it won't smear the outline like it did with the graphite outline. And the whole of the sketch will look basically more natural because of the combination of the skin color and the call erase color. And also when you want to outline your sketch afterwards, after you put the fine liner and after you put some shading, the lines of the call erase won't peek through the whole drawing. And this is how you go from messy looking drawings to clean and refined ones. And lastly, these pencils are just fun to use. They make the whole sketching process far more enjoyable and they will bring some variety to your sketchbook. With all these colors available, you can really create some awesome colorful pieces. And well, since I started to use those pencils myself, I noticed that I sketch way more often because I simply find it more enjoyable and fun to have some colors around rather than just sketching with some boring graphite pencil. And in this manner, when you have a supply that you enjoy and use more often, you draw more often and you become better and better simply. And well, yeah, I could go on and on about how great these pencils are, but I think that I highlighted the most important points by now. And now you can also see how I did some random sketches in my Moleskine sketchbook. And if anyone is wondering, this time I'm sketching from reference pictures. I just found a couple of pictures that I really liked on the Instagram and I just thought that I'll draw them in a form of this kind of collage. And I think that it looks pretty cool. And now you can finally see how all the sketches are looking and in my opinion they all came out super cool and the colors of the pencils that I used are making them even more cool. And what do you think guys? How you like them? for today's video and let me know guys what do you think about these pencils will you consider buying them or maybe you're just skipping this topic for now let me know what do you think i really would love to hear you out in the comments 
Also, don't forget to vote on the drawing that I will be recreating in my next video. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my new upcoming content. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I love you all so much. And I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye bye.